Hey, I'm back with another KitKat review, and this time I have this. So this is the, what's it, Mont Blanc KitKat. Uh, or in Japan, what they call it, oftentimes they say like Mont Blanc, which I had no idea what that was. I actually wasn't that familiar with this suite before I came to Japan. I don't know if it's just my region or just my family, but we didn't eat a lots of these. So when people would tell me about this in Japan, I was like, what, what is this? So I may not be the best judge of if this tastes like the actual sweet here. I believe it's from uh, France. Correct me if I'm wrong though, I don't know for sure. And uh, they decided to make this into a Kit Kat. I really like this packaging, this is really interesting. So they decided to put a nice uh, a French shop here, I guess. And uh, let's taste it and smell it. Actually, I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to smell like. I don't know, what, what is it made of? Does it have chestnuts in it? I'm not sure. So here we go, we have the packaging. It looks just like the outside of the actual bag. It's good, they both look nice. Uh, kind of relaxing, but that's not really what's important. What is important is the taste and smell. So, let me open this bad boy up. Oh no, I didn't open it right. I split it down the side. The candy gods are not on my side today. Okay, here we go. So open it up, it just looks like a white Kit Kat to me. Almost smells like maple syrup. I am getting like a little bit of chestnut there. The, to be honest, it's not it's not super pleasant. I don't know, but maybe other people might find it pleasant. Let me break it off. Let's give it a taste test. It's okay, but to be honest, it tastes like the maple syrup Kit Kat, just with a kind of like a bad chestnut aftertaste to me. I don't know, maybe if you're a fan of this, you'll really like it. To me, uh, I'm not digging it so much. I think the maple syrup one was better. It has the same taste, just no bad aftertaste. It's not necessarily terrible, but it's just one of those like, eh, it's kind of a miss for me. There's other ones that I liked a lot more. I was kind of iffy about this before I tried it and I think I was right in my suspicions. As I said before, I'm not super familiar with this suite. I've only had it maybe like two or three times in my life and my impressions of the actual suite and the Kit Kat flavor are about the same. It's okay, but there's other things I'd rather have. It, as a Kit Kat, it's like you're better off just getting the maple syrup Kit Kat. It has the same taste, it's just better, in my opinion. I've definitely had worse Kit Kats, and this one isn't like a complete disaster. It doesn't like it does, it's not like it doesn't match at all, but it's just not the best flavor combination. It's just kind of you taste it like, oh, okay, it's white chocolate, oh, a little bit of maple syrup, and then it kind of has like a bad aftertaste. I'd just rather. I'd rather just have a plain white chocolate Kit Kat than this, to be honest, so. Sorry about that. Like I said, not terrible. If you really like the flavor, go ahead and try it. You might like it. Maybe that, my, uh, you know, just feeling towards the sweet itself is kind of influencing me. It's just not, not a flavor for me, but maybe you'll like it. So, there you go. I hope I gave you some info for that. If you like the flavor, this Mont Blanc, try it. But if you're like, if you're like me, you're like, eh, I don't really like that. You can pass on this one. <laughs> Anyways, if you like this review, give me a thumbs up. You can ask any questions or anything you want or comments, leave those below. And if you haven't subscribed, do that so I can give you some more Kit Kat reviews. But with that, till next time, see you.